Hey guys, we're going to do a quick video here on some really inexpensive watches that you can get used. And uh, hopefully the kids will keep quiet for two seconds. I gave them a snack in the other room. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> I'm sure they'll come barging in any second. So uh, if you're like me, I watch a lot of watch videos. I'm really into watches right now. And as you can see, I filled up this watch box pretty quick. <clears throat> And oftentimes when you search like good used watches and things like that, you come up with videos and it's like, oh, this watch is really affordable. It's $800. And so what I want to do is give you kind of a common man, good brand that you can get for like under like 30 bucks, you know, 30, 20 bucks used and uh, have a good quality watch and not break the bank and uh, have something you can really enjoy. Now, some of these aren't, aren't uh, used watches or new, but I just work with me here. <laughs> All right, so off the bat, well, my newest acquisition is this Timex Weekender Chrono. This cost me $18 shipped on Mercari, I believe it was. This is a really nice looking watch. These retail for, I think, like $45, $50. Bucks. Got it for $18 shipped. Great condition. Looks like perfect. So uh, Mercari is a great place to buy used watches, by the way. It's kind of like eBay, except there's no bidding um this right here was a uh, timex expedition i got for oops, i don't know if we're gonna focus uh timex expedition i got for like what, five bucks or something like that on ebay and then i had to pay like three for shipping so eight bucks um once again very nice watch for the money really i mean this is a plastic case once so this isn't anything extraordinarily fancy but once again really inexpensive we'll put that one back um, the Wenger, Venger, however you want to pronounce it. I know nothing fancy gets roasted every time he says it. And I always get confused which one it is, and I just don't care enough to remember. This one here I paid 25 for. It's um a dive watch, which is kind of cool. It's got a really nice look to it. I put this band on it. It came with um, a metal one, and I just don't like metal bands. So this one here, 25 bucks. Some of these Venger. Uh, watches do um, end up very inexpensive on like eBay and Mercari and places like that and can be really easy to get. Uh, Pulsar, the best watch you never heard of. Pulsars are actually Seikos. It's a Seiko brand name and they're they're like middle grade line of watch. I got this one for less than 20 bucks. It's in fantastic shape. It looks like new to me. You know, it's got the rubber watch, very consistent with these dive watches. I like dive watches, by the way. Um, so, yeah, like, less than 20 bucks. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, this is my Citizen. This is actually a gift. Um, but, yeah, Citizens don't hold their value very well. You can get cheap, inexpensive Citizens like this all over the place. Uh, not everyone's a fan of them, I know. So, um, moving on, Invictus. Everybody hates them, but man, if you want an inexpensive watch, the used market on these is awesome. Okay, buddy. Um, the used market on these is wonderful. You can really get these for inexpensive on the used market. Many of these going for $20 and less on the auction sites. Um, of course, Invicta known for making really huge gaudy watches that are just awful looking. Also known for... You know, really bad QC. If you also look on eBay, you will see boatloads of Invicta watches that are broken people are selling. So just to point that out as well, um, if you're looking for a watch, look for like Invicta like repair and you'll see there are just hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of new Invictas that are uh, there for repair. And I noticed one common thing is that a lot of times it seems to be that the hands have fallen off. That's actually an easy fix. You can get a pretty good deal, you know, if you're handy and can fix things. So I uh, wanted to point that out. Next, we're going to move on to my Seikos. I did not pay more than $30 for any of these. The most expensive was this uh, chronograph model, which I believe I paid $28 for. Oh, and they're fighting. Oh, sorry guys, can't get this to focus. This is a Seiko chronograph model that I paid like $28 for on eBay. Very nice looking watch. Um, haven't quite found a band I like for it yet, but uh, I'm working on it. Uh, Seiko two-tone, I think I paid $18 for that one once again. eBay special. And this last one is a Seiko solar, which I think I paid $23 or $24 for. And um, 
that's a very nice watch as well. Kind of a little dressier kind of watches that I leave the metal bands on. I don't wear these as much as the others, um, but yeah. Uh, a couple other quick use purchases over here. I right, just one. If I can find it. Uh, G-Shocks. Now, I bought my DW5900 uh, new. I bought this one used. This is a, uh, what is it, a, a Mudman, the old model Mudman. I paid, um, I think, 24 for this. Really not a bad little deal. Uh, you can get used G-Shocks. Very inexpensive, guys. Especially older models when the newer ones come out. Models that are no longer in production are very easy to find under $30 if you hunt. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is really good as well. A lot of people buy these at like Walmart and then they, they dump them on like Facebook Marketplace or let go for really cheap. So you can get G-Shocks cheap if you're willing to settle for the older models and all that. So there you go, guys. Very simple, very um, inexpensive used watches you can get that are good quality these all hold terrific time they're all pretty good quality minus the invictus i know people are gonna have some stuff to say about that but overall guys you can get a lot for your money and when you look at the the retail on some of these you know these citizens can be like 50 to 100 these are like almost 30 new um the invictus they have that crazy high retail price so ignore that this Seiko lists for about 100 This Seiko lists for about 80 And I think this one lists for 80 The Pulsar lists, I think, for 60 or 70 The Avengers, you know, those are like $100 watches. And, um, oh, that's, that one doesn't count. And then the Mudman, you know, originally was um, probably about a $100 watch originally. Uh, the only other thing I have, and it's really not used, that I got an amazing price on, was... I don't even know where I put it. I do have another um, Wagner, Wenger, whatever that's brand new. Oh, I think I got it right here, actually. Yeah, I do. Um, still has the plastic on it. Still has the plastic on the, on the uh, face. That's a focus. Of course, my phone is being so finicky. Um, still has the plastic on the face, tags and everything. I got this for 38 bucks. It lists for like over 100. You can get some really awesome uh, deals on used watches. So pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, you don't have to spend $100, $200. And you know, a lot of the watch knobs make you think that you need to. But all these are, many of them, very tough, very rugged. And um, keep terrific time.